Now, in some people's favorite topic or person to talk about, the Department of Correctional Services is investigating reports that an inmate whose social media users have said is Vibes Cartel, you notice all them phrase that, <laughs> was involved in an Instagram live stream with international artist Russian. A search of cartel cell and adjoining cells have been carried out by the team from the Caribbean Search in Center and contraband was found and removed. The department further advised that these actions are taken seriously and efforts are being made to limit a reoccurrence of this nature and sanctions are currently pending. My first question, how are you going to sanction the man that already is locked up? What is he going to get? What is I mean, right now he's living life, you know. We are all locked up right now. So he's like, hey, welcome to the life. You I, see me? I mean, it's all alleged that he had his contraband. Contraband isn't only drugs. It's phones and yes. things that are not supposed to be in the right. cell. So, I mean, people are saying it's him because it was his social media profile, but... Did you see it? Did you oh, see the light? Oh, you did? Oh, I saw it. I saw you know something I really ended up not in our camera. There's no there was nothing else to do that night. I think about 20 people were live on Instagram. Wow. And literally, um, so when it happened, the whole place went into a frenzy. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp groups, everybody's like, you know? Because here there was a signature laugh. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah you, you heard watch the video? Me, I have it in my phone, I'll show you. Okay. There's a signature laugh, and then he had a line from one of his songs. Well, whoever it was, because he couldn't see the face. Oh. You know, you can't see the face, so you can't say for sure that it was, that him. It was him. Okay. You know, so, but again, how will you. How will you ever know? Yeah. How are you going to penalize a man that's in prison? Right? That's what I'm saying. He already I mean, in there. I mean, what are you going to take away from him now? They said the phone. It's I mean, well, that would have been taken away anyway. The, the contraband. His cell phone. Boy, all I say is, guess what? Whichever networking did I use mm. in a prison, obviously that worked well. My one not working. Can you try your life and it dropped about six times. So whatever plan you want, sir, I want to know. <laughs> 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 All right, yesterday Apple released a website and an iOS app that allows users to screen themselves for coronavirus symptoms, mm -hmm. marking another response to the pandemic by a major tech platform. Both tools were developed in partnership with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as the White House's Coronavirus Task Force, the Federal Emergency Management Agency as well. The app and website include a questionnaire and information about the novel coronavirus, and Apple said it will not collect or store users' answers to the questionnaire, though it will collect anonymous information about usage of the tools. You can go to apple.com backslash COVID-19 and just click start screening. I don't understand how this app thing will work though. Well, it's really just to kind of like check the symptoms that you have. So it's, it's, not, it's not something that is going to confirm whether or not you have COVID-19. Yeah. It's not something that you can use to say, hey, I didn't have three of these symptoms, so I don't have COVID-19. That's not what it is. That makes me panic. That it's something panic. that I think they're trying to install to allow people to say, hey, I have one, two, three, four, five symptoms. Maybe I should go and get tested or maybe I should call in and go and get tested because a lot of people take it for granted that the scratchy throat that they have mm. or the little temperature that they have or the tiny cough that they have is really nothing or is sinuses or is very, very, instead of going to get screened. I mean, it's a good move. I mean, I, I think Trump signed a bill yesterday and he was ordering two major companies to start making um, ventilators and all of these things. But yep. I don't know how much an app will help them. I don't know yeah. either. But yeah, I, just... I mean, they're trying something. Everybody's trying to be helpful. As yeah. opposed to just sitting and not doing anything. Boy. A fashion designer make mask, even though those even masks are not N95 masks. You know, people are really those masks are for carnival. Not necessarily. What they're yeah. trying to do is to it's make sure that everybody can um, everybody can do something to yeah. help. But That's I what mean, they're trying to do. Everybody can try, but yeah. at the same time. Anyways, so. here we go. All right, what's next? So yesterday, UK Prime Minister. Boris Johnson announced that he has tested positive for the coronavirus, making him the first major governmental leader known to have contracted the disease. He says he has developed a temperature, a persistent cough, and that he will self-isolate at home. And I quote, but be in no doubt that I can continue, thanks to the wizardry of modern technology, to communicate with all my top team to lead the national fight back against coronavirus, end quote. 
That's what he said. Later Friday morning, UK Health Secretary Matt Hancock said he also tested positive for the virus. Hancock said in a video that his symptoms are very mild and that he himself will self-quarantine until next Thursday, until Thursday of next week. I don't know if that's enough of a quarantine. I think it's supposed to be 14, 14 days. days. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, next week, Thursday. I mean, I, I, I that guess the quarantine day. because they, they, th they say it's mild symptoms and it's not. So they'll watch it for the next couple of days. But someone made a comment about how fast this thing is spreading. You know, how serious it is. And it's... Oh, it's baffling. Uh, before we go on to the, 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 the next topic, what we have now, and it was confirmed yesterday at a press conference by the Prime Minister, is that we have four more cases of COVID-19 that are confirmed, and that brings our total to 30. 30. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, and, so, and let's be clear, those are not the only people who have COVID-19. Those are the ones that have been confirmed. There are some tests pending, and there are also a lot of people walking up and down who don't know because... We have had contact with a lot of people who are coming in from out of the country and outside of the country and unknown to them, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, it's, and, and just a bit of good news, I suppose. Two people are recovering, mm -hmm. um, so they're waiting for the test for that as well. So there's some light at the end of this dark tunnel, but we're, we'll get there. We'll and get so there. far we have 21 cases that are imported, imported cases, which means that it came in from outside of the country and the yeah. rest of the and cases... Eight are import related. Right. Yeah. And we have eight import related. The two that are under investigation are the ones that nobody knows. They're contact cases because yeah. nobody but knows. How, how I look at it, They're if, not. The, if it wasn't here in the beginning mm -hmm. and it came here, mm -hmm. and all the cases would be linked to people who came here. Most definitely. Yeah. But the thing is, if you can't, it, it, what they're saying is like the five degrees of separation thing. You so if you never catch it directly from somebody by contact, the then it means that you catch it from somebody else who was in contact with that somebody else. And that means that it is much more widespread than we yeah. could ever Or imagine. that somebody else touched right. something on yeah. Yeah, you know. All right. So that's where we are with that one. And that's it for the trending topics. We are going to be back right after the break. So stick and stay on this Saturday morning. It's not like I have nothing better for you.